What's going on, Bears fans? Momentarily, we are going to break down Todd McShay's latest NFL mock draft. But first, speaking of the draft, if you want more Bears draft content, because the views on my recent draft videos would suggest you don't like draft stuff as much, even though you guys tell me in the comments that you do. So it's very confusing. I need 50 subs from this video. I need 50 of you guys to subscribe just from this video. So if you want more Chicago Bears draft content, subscribe, prove that you do, and we'll do some more draft videos between now and the NFL draft. Today's episode of Chicago Bears Now is presented by Manscaped. Shout out to Manscaped. They got the best men's grooming products on the planet. I've been using the Ultra Premium Collection, which we'll tell you guys about later on in the show on a daily basis. It's awesome. 20% off plus free shipping for all of their men's grooming products with promo code BEARS20 when you go to manscaped.com. ESPN NFL Draft Analyst Todd McShay released his latest mock draft. Two-round mock draft, this came after that big uh, Eagles and Saints draft pick swap. Uh, he decided to cook one up for us, and uh, I thought I'd break it down for you guys uh, in terms of what selections he made for the Bears and, you know, talk about those players and some of the other players he could have drafted instead. This mock draft fe uh, features trades, including one Bears trade, so stay tuned for that. Uh, and, of course, the Bears don't have a first-round pick, but since he went two rounds this time, I'm able to break it down. These are the picks that the Bears do have two picks in the second round, a pick in the third, two picks in the fifth, and then a pick in the sixth. Overall, they got six draft selections, uh, one from the Chargers and one from the Houston Texans. All right, before we get into McShay's mock uh, and react to it, who's your dream draft pick for the Bears? Dream guy. You pick one guy that you're like, man, this is who I want. I'm praying to the heavens that we get this guy. Let us know who you want the Bears to draft and who that dream player is. Well, maybe it's Tyler Smith, which this is becoming very popular for the Bears in recent mock drafts. Or mock drafts. Todd McShay opted to select the offensive lineman out of Tulsa with this selection. He's becoming a popular second-round offensive line prospect. Uh, and we've talked about him a couple times now, but we'll talk about him more. Big upside needs technical work. Uh, he's got a good frame. I think he fits, uh, you know, body size what this team wants to do on the offensive line. He graded out very well. Uh, for PFF last year, for Tulsa, uh, 92 overall grade, pass block of over of 75, run block of 94. Uh, only gave up two sacks, but I mentioned the technical work. Uh, he needs more of it. Uh, there's no doubt about it. But I will say this. Tyler Smith to the Bears is becoming a popular pick among NFL draft experts. Hell, my last mock draft, I had them selecting Smith. Now I got him a little bit later. I got him in the 50s after I traded down, but... Uh, he's a guy that's going round two in a lot of mocks. He's a top 50-ish type of player in this draft, according to all draft analysts. And uh, I think, you know, uh, he would be an intriguing player at a position of need. Here's what Todd McShay wrote about Smith and how he'd fit with the Bears uh, and why they should draft him. Quote, protecting field should be high on the priority list. Agreed. And Smith is the top tackle still on the board. He has franchise tackle upside, but will require some time to get there. Uh, and that's where I go back to the technical uh, shortcomings at this point. Uh, he holds too much. That's pretty much what it comes down to. I think he had 10 or 12 holding penalties this past year, which that's a lot at the college level, especially playing for Tulsa against, you know, decent college competition, but not a lot of studs, which everyone he's going to face in the NFL is going to be a star. He needs some work. Now, I do wonder, as you look at this offensive line, can he come in and be a guard as a rookie maybe even his first two years? I think so. I think he's got that guard tackle flexibility. So depending on how this regime views Tevin Jenkins and Larry Borum, if they go out and sign a veteran tackle or draft another tackle, you could put gar a Smith at guard, I think, for his first year or two. And maybe that actually helps him out early on. He has to worry a little bit less uh, about protecting Fields' blind side if he plays left tackle. Fine-tune the technical stuff. I think he's strong enough to play guard if you need him there. I'll be very interested to see, A, who drafts him, B, when he does get drafted, and C, where he plays as a rookie. Is he a starter? Is he a tackle? Is he a guard? Uh, I think long-term, you want him playing tackle, but I think early on, he could play guard if needed. Do you want the Bears to draft Tyler Smith? Type Y for yes, type N for no. Let me know how you guys think about this down in the comment section. I'm fine with it uh, becoming a very popular pick. 
Manscaped is the sponsor of today's show, and they launched the all-new Ultra Premium Collection. It's a five-product collection line from Manscaped, and I've been using uh, some of their stuff every single day. You got the shampoo and condition conditioner bottle. Used that this morning. Hair's feeling nice and silky. Uh, you got body wash, body spray, deodorant, uh, which I'm about to run out of my current deodorant, so I'm going to check that out soon as well. Their lip balm is awesome. I use that quite a bit. Uh, if you get chapped lips, I know a lot of you guys in the Windy City, dude, because uh, the weather just uh, has it happen. Get it for 20% off, plus free shipping when you use promo code BEARS20 at manscaped.com. That's promo code BEARS20. Usually it's 50 bucks. Right now it's $39.99. Uh, it's absolutely fantastic. And go check out the rest of Manscaped's products as well. They've got silky smooth uh, boxers there. You can get uh, the Lawnmower 4.0 to keep your balls nice and clean. And hey, your lady's going to appreciate it. Manscaped.com, promo code BEARS20. Manscaped, your balls are going to thank you if you head over there. Uh, trade alert in McShay's mock draft. They trade down from 48, the Bears do, with the Atlanta Falcons. Pick up a second uh, at number 58, so you slide back 10 spots. Also pick up a third, number 82 overall. We don't find out who they tra draft in round three because it is a two-round mock draft, but just keep in mind when evaluating this mock, uh, you do pick up an extra third-round pick, so you would have 71 and 82 now. Falcons pick at 48. I think he had them going... Uh, to draft a quarterback in Sam Howell. So the Bears come down to 58. And quite frankly, I think there's a pretty good chance the Bears will trade down from either 39 or 48, depending on how the draft falls. Why? Uh, because if uh, Ryan Poles can get another top 75, top 80 pick, uh, I think he'd be very interested in doing that. Because right now he's got three top 71 picks, uh, but then he doesn't pick in the fourth round. So you're waiting until round five to pick again. I think he'd be interested in getting more draft ammunition. So who do the Bears pick at 58 in Todd McShay's mock draft after trading down? That would be a wide receiver, Jalen Tolbert out of South Alabama. McShay has the Bears trading down, like I mentioned, in drafting Tolbert. Good size and speed combination. He's not a burner, ran a 4.49, but at 6'1", almost 200. Uh, that's pretty good speed there. Good vertical weapon downfield. Uh, he can catch the ball, high point the football, good body control. Needs some more development. The route tree needs to evolve a little bit more, but I think the upside is there. I think he can uh, be a wide receiver, too, in the NFL if he reaches his potential. He's certainly been productive the last couple of years. Uh, two years ago, had over 1,000 yards and eight touchdowns, 17 yards per catch. I really like that. Uh, last year, almost 1,500 yards and eight touchdowns on 18 yards per catch. Uh, so he's been explosive. He's been productive. He's played at South Alabama. So, you know, he hasn't played superstar competition e each week. But I like the vertical ability. The downfield passing attack is what we want to uh, see moving forward with this offense. And Tolbert is a good vertical threat. I think he's a guy that can help fill that role. Now, you know, his rookie second year, he might be a guy that only runs a bunch of go routes and doesn't, you know, have this super – well-rounded route tree, but if he runs two or three routes pretty well and continues to work on his game and is really good at the stuff that he does early on, then I think he's a guy that could impact an offense right away in the NFL. Now, Jalen Tolbert in round two, offensive lineman uh, Tyler Smith in round one, what's the bigger need? We keep going back and forth here. Type WR for wide receiver, type OL for offensive line. I'd lean offensive line, but you certainly need both. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Now, you're probably wondering, what receivers were available? Well, here were the ones that were drafted by McShay uh, before Tolbert. These are the round one guys, seven receivers in the first round, guys. I mean, Garrett Wilson at number four overall. Drake London at number eight. Chris Olave, number 11. Jamison Williams, number 17. Jahan Dotson, number 22. Burks, 23. Christian Watson went number 26 in McShay's latest mock. And by the way, Chris Olave at 11. We can put this pipe dream to rest. They're not getting Chris Olave, barring a miracle on draft night. Uh, the guys who went ahead of Tolbert in round two, uh, just a couple. Sky Moore, the wide receiver out of Western Michigan. John Mechie, I actually did miss one. Uh, George Pickens also was off the board. So when you're in the comments, like they should have drafted George Pickens. He actually went to the Colts at 42 or 43. Can't remember which, but I do remember seeing that. So that's my bad. But he did go in this mock before Jalen Tolbert at 58. What is interesting, though, Alec Pierce, the Cincinnati receiver who's been rising up draft boards, a lot of buzz recently. McShay went Tolber over Pierce, and actually, Pierce didn't even go in round two. He fell to round three. So you can look at that two ways. One, uh, they should have drafted Pierce. Or two, could you get him at 71? 
Could he fall that far? Or could you draft Pierce in the 50s and then draft Tolbert at 71? Just something to think about. Obviously, Todd McShay, he's a draft analyst, but none of these guys get it exactly right. We don't know exactly what these teams are thinking about, especially after the first four or five picks. Uh, pick a receiver, though. Which guy would you rather have? Type JT for Jalen Tolbert out of South Alabama. Type AP for Alec Pierce. I like them both. Curious what you guys think down in the comments. I like Pierce more than Tolbert. He's bigger, 6'3", versus 6'1", uh, 215 versus 195. Uh, his speed is better. He ran a 4'4", 1 versus a 4'4", Not a huge difference, uh, but also he played against better competition. Now, he didn't put up the volume of stats, but the yards per catch, very on par, 17 versus 17 and 18 the last two years uh, for uh, Tolbert. So that's pretty much the same. They're both vertical threats, great hands. I like that Pierce – Played for a, a program that went, what, 23-1 and one the last two years, 24-1, and one, and produced for a team that ran the football a lot uh, as well. He's been productive. He fits what this team wants to do. I like Alec Pierce a lot. He's growing on me every single day. Grade McShay's mock for the Bears. Give me a letter grade down below, A, B, C, D, or F. I would have gone Alec Pierce, but you fill two positional needs in Tyler Smith and Jalen Tolbert. I give it a B, B minus. Uh, I didn't love it, but uh, overall, I think it's pretty good. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. A, B, C, D, or F. Grade Todd McShay's mock draft for Chicago. All right, make sure you guys <laughs> just sneeze. We're going to clip that off later. Wow. Uh, that's why you should subscribe because, hey, you know, some YouTube creators would just cut that out. But uh, we keep it real and authentic here. Bears news, rumors, occasional sneeze attacks as well. Uh, go ahead and subscribe, youtube.com slash bears. Now, I was holding that one in for a while. Couldn't quite get to the end of the video. But, hey, we have fun. If you want daily videos for free, subscribe here on YouTube.